Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Season 4 of the Beginner's Guide. I'm Flinger Foo, and I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm having a pretty good day. So today, um, we're going to jump into the next step of playing Ark. Alright, so you made it through the very first day. You made it through your very first play session. You made it through the very beginning of the game. So... Now we're going to discuss how to progress further. How do we move? Well, this is also still part of the beginning game, which is also why we're still covering it in the beginner's guide. So now that we've got a whole bunch of stuff already uh, oh, uh, done, we've got meat, we've got our spears, we've got our, um, we've got our pick, we've got our hatchet, we've got our slingshot. All right, now we're going to cover, um, well, let's see, we leveled up in the off time. So, uh, let's see. Um, let's go with another pump and wait. And then now we're gonna just, up here in the search bar, we're gonna type in thatch. Alright, because we need thatch, we're gonna go with door frame, thatch roof, thatch wall, thatch door, slope thatch, slope thatch, slope thatch. Alright, because I like that stuff. I like slope ceilings, so that's what we're gonna go with today. So now, we're gonna pop over here and uh, make sure we've got some meat in there. Let's put some... Uh, we might as well get this stuff going. Um, and then also, what level is it for storage box? Let's see, storage. All right, storage box right there. All right, we're going to go craft up one of those suckers here really quick. So let's get over here to this little area of trees. And let's see if we can get some stuff. And we want to still be paying very close attention because every once in a while you'll get raptors and stuff over there. So we want to be paying attention, seeing if there's some raptors and whatnot over there. And we want to get down a bed as quick as possible. Oh, that's still going. All right, well, hey, give me all you got, buddy. All right. That's a uh, storage box. All right, so now that we've got that, um, now we're going to start really flying through the XP as we craft. See, that was a big chunk right there. And then now let's uh, go with uh, one of these, one of these. So we've got two of those. All right, and see, look, they give you a big chunk of XP. That was 10 XP per foundation. And building in this game is one of the easiest ways of getting um, XP. So what are we missing now? We're missing thatch. So now we take this pick and we go down and we start going, just gathering up as much thatch out of these trees as we possibly can because we're going to need it. All right, let's, uh, this green beacon right here just came down. And each of these beacons has a different level assigned to their color. The uh, white ones that come down, they have like a little rainbow hue coming up off the top. Those are, I believe, level 5. This right here should be level 15. Yep, level 15. Uh, blue is 25. Purple is 35. Yellow is 45. And red, um, I think it's 55 or 60. It's one of those two. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Um, so we can't get that thing yet. Well, what level are we? We're level 9. So yeah, we're, that thing's just going to... It's going to go away on us. But, yeah. So now, let's uh, grab this storage box. We're going to put this right down here by the campfire. <clears throat> and this first rudimentary shack that we're going to build, it's just going to be there so where we can house our first little things. Like our uh, mortar and pestle, our bed, stuff like that. Alright, so let's get like this one. Um, now I'm missing fiber. Alright, so let's go grab some fiber. Oh, and then while we're over here, let's stick all this metal inside of here. Because I don't want, well, this one piece of metal inside of there. And then this wood, and this uh, thatch, and can I store this in there? No. See, this stuff right here is just stuff that you get from pre-ordering the game. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that and that. And I'll keep those. Because I like the Dino Glasses skin, and I like the uh, hat. So, yeah. You know what? Let's, uh, you, let's just take this and put that right over there. Alright. How do I look? Looking sharp. All right, already got the beard growing and everything. And you'll notice that as you play the game, over time, your beard will slowly grow. And the only way to trim it is to eventually level up, get a pair of scissors, and then cut it. <laughs> That's it. But there are some pretty interesting hairstyles in the game. Pretty fun. I enjoy that aspect of it. It's it's the little things. And uh, that's the arc devs, they've really spent a lot of time on that, which is pretty cool. I, I enjoy it. All right, let's get this. And sometimes when you can't get these um, bushes that are right next to the tree, if you just pan around, and then, yeah, you'll be able to eventually get it. Let's grab that. Grab that. And then this stone, 
It's on the ground. Oh, I can't pick that one up. Um, I want to start picking up a bunch of those things just so I have enough to uh, for my slingshot because eventually I'm going to want to tame something. And when I say eventually, I mean very soon I want to tame something because right now we're just alone and, well, we're not naked anymore. I mean, we've got clothes, right? Yeah, we've got clothes. I'm not naked. See, uh, Mr. Carboinimus, I'm not naked, I swear. Really, I'm not. All right, I, uh, maybe underneath the clothes I am, but right now I'm not. All right, so now let's uh, get some more thatch. Lag a little bit, and then grab some more thatch. And then we're going to head over there and, har and uh, start crafting a bit more stuff. But now as we see, right now we're starting to really uh, build up the uh, weight. And now over here, let me show you. <clears throat> Uh, this little weight icon right here, okay, um, up here, down below here in the very bulk of it, of the iron weight, you will see that, uh, you know, you'll, you'll notice that you run the same speed, but when you start getting up closer to um, this line right here, when you hit this line, it'll start slowing you down, and then when you hit this very top line right here, that means that you're stopped, you can't move, you have to ditch some weight just where you can move, alright, so we're gonna get over here, Get some water, because we're uh, thirsty. Eat a few things of food. And then food, each uh, of these cooked meat that you eat gives you 20 food. So five of them will take us from zero to full. See right here, food. This right here is going up because we just ate five meat. Then it'll take us all the way up to 100. Bam, nailed it. All right, so now um, let's uh, take these foundations, put those in there. And I'm not sure how big of a structure I want. I know I want at least six. So let's go with three of those. And then we're going to need a doorway, and then a door, so where we can get in and out. And then we're going to need some walls, but I will craft the walls as we're going. Um, actually, you know what? We can craft a few now. So, uh, let's see. If we're going with a 2 by 3 area, we're going to need uh, one doorway, five other uh, walls in the front, and then we'll need six in the back, so that's 11. And then we'll need uh, four on each side, so that's 15. All right. And then we're going to be, the levels are really going to be pounding on. And here, I'm not going to level up until after we're done uh, crafting all this stuff. Because I want to show you just how many levels you get from crafting. And it's, it's quite a bit. All right, and we're going to just set our little shack over here on the area of down here. And this is just going to be a little rudimentary shack. So we're, while we're out here exploring, we have a bed to uh, fall back on. And then eventually... We might turn it into something else, but I'm having the feeling that we'll eventually just scrap it. But it's going to be a great focus for getting us some XP. Alright, now how you build this stuff is uh, you can either put it down here in your hotbar or you can just select it from up here and then it'll do one at a time. But if you put it down on your hotbar, you can just press that designated button and you can just build a whole bunch. Bam. We're done with this side. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go like that. Back over here. Wrong button. All right, so now we're going to need another one because I done messed up. I put a wall in the middle. All right, well, let's just demolish that. And then when you demolish stuff, you get half of your resources back, which is pretty cool. It's just not all wasted, right? Did I not craft enough? Let's see, it's six. I could have swore I crafted enough. All right. Two, three. Oh, it's probably because I destroyed something. So it uh, messed up. And also, once you're done crafting stuff, say um, uh, we finished crafting everything that we needed to. Um, oh, it's because I opened inventory. Okay. Um, if you still have... The item down here, even though it's grayed out and you don't have any on there, but you still have the stuff in your inventory to make it, you can just click the button and it'll uh, auto make it. But we don't have enough in our inventory right now to make it, so we are missing wood. All right, let's go grab some wood. Run over here. And go grab some wood. And we're... What level are you, buddy? You've just been hanging out, chilling out. 75, you're not too bad. Um, and these uh, 
Carbo Animus, they can be quite, uh, I don't want too much wood. They can be quite handy in the lower level, so maybe we'll go find a rock that we can break so we have more stuff for our slingshot. Maybe we can tame this guy. I mean, they're actually pretty easy tames. Um, and I will show you how to tame stuff in this game. It's pretty cool. Alright, so let's, uh, come over here. And then now that we've got that thing still on our hot bar, we can craft up three of those by pressing the button three times. Alright. Bam. Bam. And one more. Come on, give it to me. There you go. Alright. So, um, now we're going to, uh, go with, uh, two of these... Two of these, and we're running out of fiber. You can tell we're running out of fiber because we can no longer craft that. All right, so now on the inside, we're gonna go in and we're gonna put these things down. All right here. And I'm gonna have to go grab some, oh, gotta open the door. All right. Something like that, just like that. All right, pretty simple. All right, so now we've got to go with the slope ceilings. How many can we craft? Just two. All right, we're going to need two more, and I think we're going to need fiber for that. All right, so what else are we going to need? Yep, we need fiber. And maybe a little bit more thatch. All right, so let's go like that. Put that up there. Bam. Bam. All right. Oh, and then once I learn how to... Once I figure out how to go through a door again... All right. And then as we're going, I'm just going to be collecting stones off the uh, ground out here as we're running. Because, and you, you can see just how many stones we have by how much ammo we have on our slingshot. Which is actually, in the early stages, it's a really good way of finding out just how many stones you have in your inventory. Any stones out here? Yeah? Alright. Alright, and to knock out a level 75 Carbo Enemus, um, it could take a few stones. Take a few. Alright, so let's come over here and let's gather all these things. This should be enough. Now let's go grab some more thatch. And we're probably going to have to grab some more stones really quick. If we're going to uh, want to be knocking out that turtle. I have to make sure I have enough hide in my inventory. Yeah, to repair the slingshot. Let's see, what does it take to repair? Alright, well I haven't fired one. So. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get over here. Let's put this stuff down. And then we're going to level up. We're going to find out just how many levels we got from crafting this. Now, I will admit, we're playing on... We have an enhanced uh, XP on this. But there's reasons why we have enhanced XP. It's because when I I record a lot, and I don't have the time to uh, spend leveling up on the official server settings. But... Everything else is the same as the official server settings. The dino difficulty, the dino damage, how much damage we take, all that stuff. The bosses, um, well, the bosses are going to be a little bit easier because we're playing in solo difficulty. I made one too many of those, didn't I? All right, well, if we made one too many, now we can just set it over here inside this. And this is why we built this. So where it can carry our excess weight. All right, and we're going to take back these stones. We have 48 of them. All right, well, look, where is that Carbo Animus? Now that we're looking for him, he's gone. All right, let me go grab a few more. Where'd you go, buddy? Is he in the water? <laughs> of course. Now that we're looking for him, he takes off. All right, and then we're just going to beat this up with uh, hatchets where we get as much stone as we can because I want at least about 100 of them. So, yeah. That'll work right there. Let's click this. Now let's go over and let's see if we can find this guy. Because they're really slow, but... Oh, what level are you, buddy? Huh. Alright, well, let's go over here. And see, we're running a little bit slower than normal because we've got so many stones on us. 
She duck in here? No? And then also that's another easy way of uh, refilling your water. Is just jump underneath the water. And they'll refill your water all the way. I just, is this that same turtle? Are you the 75 guy? Need a little bit more food. All right. And then now from just building that, we got three levels. So we're going to, yeah, we're going to take that up. Let's see. Um, we're going to go with movement speed up to two. All right. So now we've got on our stats, we've got 200 weight and 104 movement speed. That's not bad. Pelagormus over there, and a turtle right here. Are you the 75 guy? You are. All right, I want you. So let's come over here, and let's drag this guy over. There he goes. Now he's aggroed on us. All right, come on, buddy. Now, when you're shooting things with a uh, slingshot, as opposed to eventually when you level up, and you get like stuff with bows and trade arrows and stuff like that, a slingshot does a one-time upfront torpor effect. Every hit gives a standard torpor amount, but uh, later on you'll get things that cause uh, torpor dots. And yeah, but for now we're just going with as much raw upfront torpor as we can. And this is going to take a while because slingshots don't do that much torpor. But it's effective. It's the first range source of uh, Torpor that you get in the game. All right, I'm going to make sure that we don't run into a wall and we don't back into another Carbo Enemus. And these things have a really big drop-off, so you want to be very mindful of that. And the further back you pull it, the more damage it does. All right, let's get over here. Oh, and he's running. When they're running, it means that their torpor... Whenever they get down to 25% torpor... They will run. Which means that we're almost ready to... This guy's almost knocked out. But we have to get him knocked out before he gets into the water. Alright, repair that. Come on. I want to get in front of him. There he is. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, now he's back aggroed on us. All right, cool. I'm good with that. You were about to get in the water. All right, let's see if we can get you back over here to the campfire a little bit closer. Come on, buddy. And it's all about placement. Where can you place them so where they will survive while they're unconscious? Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't attack my stuff, dude. Thought you were almost knocked out. He wrecked our thing. This guy's got a ton of torpor. All right, all right, all right, all right. the butt, buddy. Yeah. Take... Come on. Am 
I not gonna have enough stones for this? Holy crap. Alright. Oh, punched him. Alright. So, hey, punching is also a, a slightly effective way of uh, taming, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, it's, you end up getting uh, beat up quite quickly. So now that he's out, all right, see this right here, this is that hidden torpor stat that we were doing. Um, every time we hit him with the uh, um, slingshot, he would get, uh, I believe it's eight points on this. So that's why it took so long, because he had 1,496. That's quite a bit. All right, so now that we have these, um, now that he's unconscious, we took all of our measure berries, because these are his preferred berry when taming, and we're just gonna throw it on him and let him eat that. This is not enough to tame him fully. All right, now also, see, now that the, we raised this bar all the way up to 100%, and he uh, got knocked out from it getting to 100%, now it's gonna slowly go down, and you can see it right here, right there, it's gonna slowly go down. All right, so now how we stop that from going down is we can get him to eat one of these berries. Now, either you can uh, select it and uh, hit consume, which will force his torpor to raise, or you can just uh, mouse over it on PC, and then you can just use it. Just press the E button over it, and then and that'll force him to. So now, while he's out, I'm going to go get some more measure berries and get him... Uh, Get some more berries on him so where he doesn't run out of berries. Because if he runs out of berries, we're going to lose the tame. All right, so I'm going to get this stuff done. And then um, as uh, he gets closer to getting up, I will bring you guys back. And I will see you guys in a bit. All right, so while that turtle is out, I see a level 10 Parasaur over here. So I'm going to try to see if I can get her out. Do I have any stones? I don't have any stones. I thought I picked some up. Oh yeah, they're stones. All right. Now she's going to run the moment that we try to uh, do anything with her. So I'm probably just going to see if I can punch her out. But I want to get a couple in. All right. So now that she's uh, doing that, we're going to try to uh, sprint over like this. Over in front of her. Now she's going to get lost out in the water. Yeah, she's going to go way out there. She's going to go swimming, get eaten by sharks. That's one of the things they do. You gonna come back in? Well, have fun swimming with the sharks. All right. Now these guys right here, they give a uh, really good XP buff. So now that I see one over here, while that guy is out there getting eaten by sharks, I think I'm going to uh, see if I can go get some more berries and stick up this guy's butt here really quick. And I say by sticking up their butt, it, you don't really stick it up their butt, but you do walk it behind it, so it feels like you're sticking it up their butt. All right. So <laughs> we're just going to go like this. I want to see how many it takes to tame this guy. All right. Uh, mission berries down there. All right. <clears throat> All right. So now, um, I, see what I did? I took the measure berries and I put them down in the zero slot. Now, the zero slot um, is what you use to passively tame. Now, there are things called uh, active tames and passive tames. This guy right here, he was an active tame, which means that we have to knock him out. And then um, uh, we have to uh, just put some berries on him, let him uh, eat up. And that's how that guy works. Um, that's how uh, active tames are. But um, now that uh, he's knocked out, we can just put all our berries on him because he's eventually going to get up. And then he'll be our little buddy, and I'll show you something cool about him when he gets up. Now, the passive tame, this guy right here, what I mean by shoving things up their butt, is uh, as you walk up to it, see how it says right here, wait until it's hungry again? That means it's a passive tame. Or if you walk up to it and it says, put uh, taming food in last taming slot. That means that you put it down in, you put their the food that's used to tame them down in their zero slot and then you walk up to them and then you press e or in this case s all right so i will just use it on that see it fills up his bar a little bit and then now he that filled up his hunger um and so now we just have to wait until he's hungry again then we can feed him again which will be kind of cool and these guys right here they provide a lot of really cool chitin and uh oil and silica pearls i'm not sure i want to kill him yet though all right um yeah so i'm going to be uh 
Running back and forth here, I'm probably going to have to get this guy some more measure berries because he's taming up really slow. His taming effectiveness right here, see right here, his taming effectiveness is going to go down quite a bit. He's going to lose a bunch of levels. And let me explain this right now. All right, when you first knock them out, they have 100% taming effectiveness when you first put stuff on them. All right, depending on what kind of food, the lower quality food you put on them or if they get hit afterwards, after being knocked out, their taming effectiveness will go down. So they'll like you less. They'll get less of bonus levels. That's what this right here is. That's bonus levels. Right now, if he were to just get up and be ours and be our best buddy, he would get plus 36 extra levels. They'd get added directly onto this. He'd be level 101 when he first gets up, which would be awesome. It'd be amazing. All right. Actually, no, he'll be 111. Yeah, sorry, math is hard. All right. So <laughs> he'd be 111. So when he gets up, um, right now, or when he, let me back up, I'm getting a little too, hold it with flicker, all right, so yeah, um, as he slowly eats these measure berries, because they're really not his preferred food, um, he's going to, uh, his taming effectiveness is slowly gonna be going down, so he'll, it'll probably be down to about 90 by the time he finally, uh, gets up, oh, it's 90, it's only going down by, uh, 0.1 per berry he eats, so it'll probably be bound, down to about 93 or 94. Alright, um, so yeah, that's how that works. Now this right here, if you see right here, he he has a taming effectiveness too, and um, if we were giving him uh, rare flowers, or this guy's preferred kibble is what they call it, or preferred food, um, he would, it would be almost an instant tame, and then he would come out at almost 100% taming effectiveness, and it would just be awesome and amazing, he would be our buddy. But, <clears throat> Um, since, uh, we don't have rare flowers, we're just giving him measure berries, um, he's slowly losing his taming effectiveness, and he's losing a little bit quicker than, uh, the Carboenimus over there is, because it, he's higher level. Alright, and, uh, yeah, he takes a bigger hit. Each, each dino that you tame takes a bigger hit on their taming effectiveness, depending on... A uh, few factors. Normally, they're just internal factors that are uh, programmed into the game, making in individual dinos harder and some easier. So, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to get these guys done. I'm going to get them tamed up, and I will see you guys in just a bit. Are you ready to eat yet? No, you're not? All right, well, I'm going to be following this guy around for a little bit. Or this girl around for a little bit. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, now this girl's ready for her last feed. So now, feed her, and then, yeah. All right, now I'm just going to call her... XP. Z. <laughs> so she's XP's. All right, so now she actually has kind of a superpower. She tamed up to level 130, uh, 133. Um, but she, her superpower in here, let me show you. Okay, see, as you come up to her, um, you can uh, use the use button, and then you pet it, right? And then she gets, like, this little arrow over her head, which... Uh, gives bonus XP to all the dinos around her, which is pretty cool. And we're going to have her follow us. We're going to come over here to this guy who's still out. And now that we've got uh, all these extra measure berries in our inventory, we're just going to throw them on him. All right. And then wait for him to get up. And he doesn't really need any nar narco berries, but I'm still kind of keeping an eye on it just in case. Come on, XPs. All right, get over here. All right, you go, girl. All right, so, yeah, I'm going to wait for this guy to get up. I'll bring you guys back, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, one last feeding, and then he'll get up. Yeah, it hasn't taken me too long. Uh, their food goes down quite fast. Um, as carboenimate, well, their food goes down kind of slower compared to some, but it's 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 fast because it's just measure berries, and I'll discuss that here in a sec. All right, um, so we're just going to call this guy, well, this is a turtle, uh, carboenimus. He's our first guy. We're going to call him Bob. All right, I like Bob. Bob for my turtles, they're, they're pretty good. All right, and he tamed up at level 110, which is pretty good. All right, we can't ride him yet. Eventually, as we level up, we'll be able to unlock the uh, Carboenimus saddle if we want to and put it on it. I rarely ride a turtle because they just look silly, but um, they're really tanky. And here, let me show you. I mean, he's already got 3,000 hit points compared to our 100 hit points. So he can take one heck of a beating compared to us. I mean, we can get armor and stuff like that, but he's just got a ton of hit points. Plus, he's also got 229 uh, melee damage, which is all right. It's not bad. All right. Now, dinos have kind of a superpower in a way that they act as a refrigerator. Here, let me show you. 
All right, let me take this stuff back, put that up here. All right, see, now look at this. All right, see, the spoil time right here, where it says spoil time, 4 minutes, 39 seconds, 38 seconds, and whatnot. All right, now we take that. All right, see, 4.30, let's go till 4.30. Then you put it on here, bam, all right. And then now that 4.30 is now 17.56. Which, that, it's a superpower right there. They act as a little mini refrigerator. They make their stuff last longer. So if you uh, have stuff that spoils, like this meat right here. We can take half this meat, put that on there. And it's going to have two hours spoil time. We're on here. It only has 34 minutes. That's great. That's good stuff. We want that. We're also going to take all of our uh, spoiled meat and put it on there. Because we're going to want that spoiled meat eventually. So yeah, now we can come over. We can click this guy. All right, yeah. Do your little jump. Yeah, good job, buddy. All right, um, let's level him up. And then, see, now that we clicked him, he's got this little arrow over his head, which means that he's now getting bonus XP from just chilling out on the beach, relaxing in the breeze, doing his little thing, chilling out, having fun. Maybe a mojito over there, you know? Maybe Margaret. I don't know. What? What? What's your drink of choice? Ah, lemonade. Gotcha, buddy. Good job. Hey, I like lemonade, too. All right, so go on, let's get over here. And um, yeah, so uh, now that we've got the two dinos, our two first dinos under control, I need to repair my campfire because Bob ended up beating it before he liked us. So yeah, I, I need to repair the campfire. All right, so yeah, we're gonna get Bob and uh, XP's over here. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for this uh, second episode. So hey, if you like this episode, if uh, it helped you out in any way, give me a thumbs up on that like button. If you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate both just as much. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody. All right, I think you guys are going to do great once I stop XP from trying to climb up your butt. All right, you got that XP? Hey, you made it. Good job, girl. All right, good job. All right, continue to uh, help out Bob with that, and yeah, all right, take it easy, everyone.